Uh, Brian Ellis, we're joined right now on the phone by Justin Amash, who is uh, joining us as we speak. Uh, Hi, completely... Justin. Hey. Justin Amash even... and Brian Ellis on the phone here with the first time I, that I know of together on the phone line together to talk about this primary challenge here in West Michigan. We're talking about it right now. Justin, welcome to the show. We appreciate you being on with us and, and joining us. You've heard what Brian's saying. Uh, what do well, you feel? Actually, I, you're going to have to recap a little bit. I just heard he's on, and I heard some of the um, remarks secondhand. So you're going to have to recap. Okay, Brian, Brian, would you go ahead and tell Justin why you're running against him? Sure, sure. Um, so, so my basic premise is, is focus on a lot of your votes, Justin, and I don't believe they're reflective of the conservative values of this district, and I've, I've cited, like, the vote against the Paul Ryan budget. I've cited the vote you against mean, okay. the tax cuts no, no, for small me, business. I've so, cited the Keystone Pipeline as examples of where I disagree with you on, on your voting right, let's record. Talk about, let's talk about those votes. The House budget, which doesn't balance in 10 years unless you assume extraordinary rates of growth, you assume extremely low interest rates, and on top of it, I voted for the more conservative RSC budget. So when you say that, you know you're misleading people. And when it comes to the small business tax cut that you're talking about, that was a one-year, one-off tax cut that would have increased deficits that the Wall, the Wall Street Journal opposed. The Wall Street Journal said it was bad for business. I'm a small business owner. It would have been bad for business. It would have been bad for the country. It would have increased the deficit by tens of billions of dollars. That was not a permanent tax cut. That was not the kind of reforms that conservatives uh, are looking for. That's central planning. And the Keystone Pipeline bill that you're talking about, that was a bill to provide one company, Trans Canada Corporation, one company, a special break from the rules and laws that everyone else has to follow. So every other pipeline operator has to follow rules, and that bill would have provided an exemption for one company. Of course I support the Keystone Pipeline. Then you should vote for it. Then vote for it. uh, You can support a project without supporting the specific bill that has an earmark in it. So you'd support earmarks? I'm a bu- I'm a businessman. The bottom line is your votes, and you you're not voting in a way that I like, and I'm challenging you well, on that. And that's- I'm not voting I'm not voting in a way that you like because you want some special breaks. But I'm voting in the way that uh, conservatives like. I'm voting in the way that my district likes. And so well, we'll see it. We'll see about that. To pretend, okay, well, we, we we will see about that. But to pretend that I'm not conservative. When you're the one who has the bad voting record, the non-conservative voting record, working on the MEDC and as an East Grand Rapids school board member, and then to come out and pretend that I'm not conservative, you think you're going to fool anyone with that? Justin Amash, Congressman Justin Amash on with Brian Ellis, the challenger. Listen, gentlemen, we appreciate you both being on with us this morning and calling in out of the blue. We understand this was kind of an impromptu situation for both of you. The first debate. We'd like to we'd like to offer you both a chance to come back on with us together. Would you two uh, be in for that? Sure, I'd be happy to be on. He can't defend his record, and he can just try to smear my record. I'm happy to talk about all of it. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm happy to talk about Thank all you. Of it. I appreciate you both being on with us. Hang on one second. We're going to get all the information we can off the air. Of course, we have to take a break here. The news at the top of the hour, and Glenn Beck joins us 